guys, I'm Kelly and this is my channel Kel Stitches. This is a place where I talk about my addiction to cross stitching and the separate hobbies of stitching and collecting all the, all the stash. So today is Monday the 26th of February 2024 and this is floss tube number 41. And so I am back to show you what I have done in the last uh, fortnight. I would just like to say um, thank you very much if you are a uh, returning viewer and subscriber. It is very, very much appreciated that you come back every uh, fortnight or every time I put a video up. And welcome to any new subscribers. I hope you enjoy what I um, have to show you and the progress on my uh, whips. I hope you stick around. Um, can get a little bit crazy around here at times if um, my flossness was anything to go by. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for dropping in and catching up with me. All right, so at the end of my last video, we all know that I was going to pink um, and I wasn't sure how much stitching I'd get done or even if I'd get all of my stitching done or all of my projects touched, but I did. I managed to work something out and I managed to get a few stitches into all of them. So that was quite handy. So let's just get straight into it. So I'll start showing you what I have worked on. Uh, first off, I do just have to apologize if there you can hear any outside noise. In this direction, we have um, machinery, diggers, etc., etc., for whatever they're doing up on the hill. I think it is a new um, subdivision, housing subdivision that they're doing up above us on the hill so there's a lot of banging and crashing and whatever coming from that way. Then in this direction I've got neighbours over there, they're using a little bobcat, I don't know what they're doing over there, who knows. And then out this direction, out in the back paddock, we have another neighbour um, making hay, uh, turning turning over the, they slashed it, yes, slashed all the grass yesterday, now they're out there turning it over so it dries out before they actually bale it. Not that you'll probably hear those, but you'll hear them and you possibly hear these guys across, across this way. So it's all happening today um, and I do apologise if there is any outside noise as well as any vehicles that are going past. Alright, let's just knows now. Let's just get straight into what I have stitched on. So the first one that I uh, worked on was this one and it's called Oh Great Spirit. The artwork is by Linda K. Powell. It is an old dimensions um, chart. 1996 this one is copyrighted. So last time we seen it I was working up here in this border and that's where I continued on with. So that's what it'll look like when it is completed. I've just got to find it. Oops, just got to find it. I can not remember what one I put it in. Still haven't put any tags on any of these bags, so I'm just gonna have to, yes, that is it. So I'll put a picture of where it was. And this is where we're up to with it. As you can see, I have just finished working on that border. So I've only got a little bit down here of 938 or something like that. It's like a dark brown just to finish off that section down there. And I um, then I will move over and start working in here and start putting the sun and all that sort of stuff in. So yeah, that's what it's looking like. It's, I am loving working on this one. It is, I don't know, it's one of those ones that you start and you just don't want to put down. And I'm sorry, uh, there seems to be a bug 
in my windowsill buzzing around so yeah that is where I'm up to with it I worked on this for two days and I got 1600 stitches into it but yeah that is looking really really good I can't wait to um, can't wait to get this finished and then I can start on one of the others that I have but I do have quite a few I'm going to have to go through my stash and organize it uh, organize all the projects of that well, all the patterns that are fully kitted put them into one tub probably put them into alphabetical order so it's easier to find them and then all the others that I am getting ready to kit up um, or in the process of kitting, I will put them into another tub. I should have enough fabric to um, kit up most things or to put in most things and then I've just got to get a floss. Alright, on to the next one. Mini top of frog. Artwork is by Jodie Bergsma and it is charted by Heaven and Earth Science. And this is what it'll look like when it's finished. I am just working down here in the um, bottom of this big frog here. So yeah. This one's easy because it's in my little froggy bag that I made. So and where I'll put a picture of where it was. And this is where it's up to. As I said, just working down in that bottom part of that big frog to finish it off. And then I'm debating whether I just go across to the side, like go side to side and work up the pattern, or whether I go up and get the very top page done up here and then work down. I don't know, I'm, I'm debating that. Uh, so, yeah, that is what it is looking like you can see the little froggy toes coming in there <laughs> how cute are those uh i worked on this for two days and i've got 1000 stitches into it speaking of frogs um nash saved one out of the mailbox a couple of weeks from last week a week before Anyway, he saved one out of the mailbox. It was, for some reason, it decides to sit in the mailbox, live in the mailbox, and the mailbox is metal. And with the really hot days we've been having, um, yeah, I don't know how it's surviving in there. So Nash got it out and um, saved it from the hot mailbox. And then here he is walking around with this frog on his hand. And it's just sitting there like, like a big bloody pet so but we've got a little garden just brought out from the um, mailbox so he went and put it in there and i'd probably guess that the frog will go straight back to the mailbox because it's a stupid animal but yeah anyway that is mini top frog And so this one is being stitched on 16 count Ada. It's, yeah, 16 count white Ada. Oh, Great Spirit is also being stitched on 16 count. Or maybe it's 18 count. I haven't put any tags on any of my new ones, so I don't know. It'll be 16 or 18 count Ada, one or the other. All right. Then... I worked on this one called Moon Wolf One. This is from an Etsy store. 
um, trying to remember, I think it might be a light unicorn designs on Etsy. Um, and this is what it will look like when it is completed. And I feel a sneeze building up. Or a yawn. Rather a yawn than a sneeze. So I think it's this one. Yep. Is where I've got to with it I didn't get much stitching into this one at all um, I only got 200 stitches done into this uh, in one day so yeah not much difference from where you seen it last time but I did put a few stitches into it so that's 200 less than what I've got to do uh, as you can see, I am doing it on a um, pink fabric. It was dyed by uh, Patty Glenn Designs. I got it in a lot. She was having a dye spot sale and I just messaged Lisa and I said, um, give me $100 worth of fabric. And that's what she done. She just, I uh, didn't specify, I just said Ada. Um, and I didn't specify colours or counts or anything like that, so she just sent a, a heap of um, fabric through to me. And this was one of them. So I decided that I would do this one on it, and I am not doing all the white in it, so that pink will come through. There is a few pink stitches in this, but not that many, and I don't know if they'll that itchy nose I don't know if they will um, get lost on the pink fabric or not or if they're a bit darker than the fabric but I'll see when I get there and I think I think that fabric is a 16 count but not all of them had a tag on them to say what um, count fabric they were so I'm pretty sure it's, just, it's too big to be 18 count and it doesn't look like 14 count to me so here falling off me everywhere all right so the next one that I worked on is this one this is the out of the Savannah cell which is being hosted by cross stitch for everyone this year Now, I don't know if this is part of the pattern because the four pages that we have got so far have been a tree or part of a tree. So I'm not sure if that's part of the pattern and then there might be animals around it underneath it something like that but we will see as we keep going this one still has the old tag on it from my mother um, from my other project that was in all right so a picture of where it was and this is where I'm up to I did get a fair bit of stitching into this so the way I'm going to tackle this on Pattern Keeper is because we get just pages and she releases a page on the 1st and the 15th of every month and I'm just importing each individual page so the way I'm going to the way I tackled it on this one is because on Pattern Keeper you can go from, you can change it that it lists from least amount of stitches to most amount of stitches and I'm just going to work down that um, 
that list from least amount to most amount of stitches and just work the pages like that. Um, I think that's going to be the easiest rather than having to pick a symbol or try to guess which symbol has the least. Why not use the features on Pattern Keeper that are already there? So this one I stitched on for two days and I've got 1400 stitches into it. Uh, the first day was um, crazy, ridiculous. I only got 600 stitches in on the first day. But the first 200 stitches of that contained 25 colours. Mm -hmm. And that's how much confetti was in there. There was about a dozen colours there that only had two or three stitches in that. So that was fun. It took me a while. And instead of being able to get 200 stitches done in two hours, it took me four hours to get 200 stitches done. But it is looking really good. I've only got, I think, four or so colours left on that page to do, to complete. And they're all over a hundred stitches each, so. And I've already got the third page. Um, already got the third page loaded into Pattern Keeper, so as soon as I finish this one, I will delete it and I can move on to the third page but it is wider than what it is deep. But yeah, and this is just being stitched on, I think it's 16 count. But yeah, looking good, looking good. Can't wait until we have a few more pages released um, to see if we get any animals popping into up uh, in it and what animals there might be. All right. Here. The next one. That I worked on was my stamped kit. Uh, that is what it'll look like when it is completed. And this is where I'm up to with it. So I just got this in here finished um, and then now I've just got this part here which is just all the one colour to um, do and then I will move probably across this way I think and get some of that done but yeah that now that I am um, using the thread wax or thread conditioner whatever you want to call it on this um, rayon type of floss. It's not silks. It is too slippery and shiny to be silk. So it's a synthetic silk. Um, now that I am using that, it is a pleasure to work on. And this is 11 count, uh, 11 count fabric. And I only worked on this for one day and I got 400 stitches into it. I did take this one with me when we went away, thinking that I might have had a little bit of um, time to, like of a morning or something, before we went on our, on our day uh, to work on it. I'll put a few stitches into it, but I didn't. I, um, I read my book instead. I was because in Queensland they're an hour behind us so my body wakes me up at 5.30 naturally 
of a morning anyway because that's when my alarm goes off and um so up there my body was still waking me up when it thought it was 5 30 but it was actually 4 30 and did you do you think i could get back to sleep no no i could not so i um i laid in bed for a little while and scrolled on my phone and then i wanted to get a couple of um sunrise pictures because we were op straight opposite the beach i wanted to get some sunrise pics and would you believe it both days it was cloudy like there was clouds on the horizon there was blue sky but there was clouds on the horizon so you couldn't actually get the sun coming up over the water i could i got a couple of pictures of the sun coming up over the clouds which i'll put in at the end but no so i sat out on the balcony and watched all the healthy people doing their exercises and jogging and cycling and all that along the beachfront while I sat up there and read my book. I was an exerciser. I was on holidays. But yeah, so I got 400 stitches into this when I got back on, uh, when I got home. But I always, uh, when I go away, I always take a couple of these easier ones with me, just in case I do have time to uh, get some stitches in. But we always manage to find something else to do rather than stitching. Alright, so the next one that I worked on is this one. Sansusi by Long Dog Samplers. Now last time I was just down here. I'm working in that section down there. And that is what it will look like when it is completed. I really need to get make myself a board so I can hold against the, hold these up against. And this is where I am up to. So as you can see, I've just worked along here and filled in this bottom bit, put my initials in. And then I went up here to start on some back stitching. So I worked on this one yesterday, uh, being Sunday, I managed to get a day, another day off work which was really good I got uh, when I got to work on the Friday because we got home on Wednesday? Thursday. Anyway, I had Thursday off and I went to work on Friday thinking that I was working Friday and the weekend and the boss said to me, do you want Sunday off as well? And I was like, hell yeah. Of course I do. You don't think I'm going to say no, do you? So I got Sunday off, so that was good because I plan, uh, then I thought to myself I'll get 500 into the last couple of projects that I had not worked on. And this is one of them. Um, so I was determined to finish off this section and that section got me 675 stitches and I wanted to round it off to a nice even 700 so I went up here and done some back stitching and left it as that so once I get back to this I will finish off the back stitching in that section and then move across move across this way uh, nope this way and um, finish finish off that side which isn't a lot, but it's just just doesn't quite fit into the small merge, which is fine, fine, fine. So yeah, that is where I've got to, and this is being stitched on 18 count Ada using Silks for You threads. Uh, PR001 is the purple, and PR147 is the teal, and I am really loving how. This is looking. Uh, I am not 
that far off from finishing I think I'm around about 80% now so as you can see that is the edge there so I'll just come over and finish off that edge and then I've only got a little bit of the bottom done to do and once I'm finished this long dog I will start on another because I have plenty of them in my sash, as we probably all do. Because Jules keeps bringing out more and more. And you, you look at them and go, oh, I really want to do that. And some of them are pretty big for samplers and take a while. Alrighty, last one that I worked on was... The reindeer from a Year in the Woods series. So that is what it'll look like when it is completed. I only had the body of the deer to fill in. picture of where it was and this is where I got to so as you can see I have filled in most of it I've just got this little bit on his shoulder and these couple of bits on his leg only that I am changing my rotation today I would have um, I would have kept stitching on this today and just filled in that last bit just to No, it's probably only a hundred or so stitches. Maybe I should. Maybe I should just, once I've finished this and waiting for it to upload and what haven't you, I should just stitch on, on this and get that filled in so then... I can just move down to the next one, which I think is the... Jackrabbit. I don't know. I'll decide on that. I'll decide. See what happens. But yeah, that is where I got up to. So I worked on this yesterday and I got 500 stitches into it. If I wasn't such a lazy bum, I could have um, just stayed up an extra hour or so and finished off those stitches. But that doesn't. No, no, I was, I was tired. Too tired to do it. So yeah, I am loving how this, these little guys are stitching up. I am doing this on 18 count Ada. I'm doing all 12 on one piece of fabric. 18 count Ada that I dyed myself. Cocoa brown and a touch of tangerine. As you can see, there is little bits of orange in there. I know they're not the called it's not the called for for colours, but you know, I was actually aiming for a um, vintage country mocha, mocha, whatever you want to call it, um, colour, but it ended up a little bit darker than that, and I was like, eh, I've dyed it now, it's cut to the right size. And I like the colour, so I think they're, and they're looking good on it, so. And it is to say that you have to use the, um, call forms. No one. That's who, no one. Alright, so, <laughs> altogether I stitched for nine days out of the 14. Because I had, I worked on the Friday. And. I didn't stitch on the Sunday and then we went to uh, the Gold Coast on the Monday uh, Pink Concert was Tuesday we came home Wednesday yeah. so that was the five days that I didn't stitch and my hair is I washed it this morning and it's being a right cow Ooh, a bit of hair just flew through the air then alright so Let's keep going. Um, what will I do next? I will have a drink first. Sorry. Oh, I'll tip that up. I've got 
got a um, this is my water bottle, and I've got a tea bag in there. You know the cold tea bags, the flavoured cold tea bags that you can put in. And I hadn't. It's been sitting there all that time, and I hadn't um, tipped it up. That's better. All right, so. Let's write on these boards first. This is the full coverage one. So I did only do two, two full coverages this, um, this rotation. So I'll use the black to write in the stitches that are done and then we'll tally it up in the red. So mini top frog. Yeah, I got one thousand stitches into it, and then what's my other one? Oh, the out of the Savannah cell, which is over here, I've got fourteen hundred. going to be easy. That one is now at 2,000 stitches. And then this one is at 2,100. So, going off that, I am a one-fifth of the way through my um, goal for those two, which, as I said, is um, 10,000 on each of those 10 projects. So that's uh, that one that's over there. And then we will do my small ones. Great spirit, we got another sixteen hundred moon wolf. We two hundred stamped hundred. Oops. Some Susie over here, we done seven hundred and the woods here in the woods five hundred. Now, well, that's just I really need to sit around a different way being a lefty. Lara had the same problem when she was doing her um, doing her boards. She was si sitting on the other side, and I was like, "I bet it looks so uncomfortable." But I understand because, like me, it, it was probably the um, easiest way for her to sit. Radio, Son Susie, we have done two thousand stitches. Year in the woods we have done 2100. Great spirit we have done 3000. Moon wolf is 1300 and stamped is 1900. I don't have a um, goal for these. These are just whatever. I probably could set a goal um, of 5,000 on each of these. I wonder if that's what I should do. This one here is already well halfway to it. 
What do you think, guys? Should I set 5,000 or 7,500 um, gold for these? Let's go 5,000. I'll set a 5,000 goal for these. And if we reach that goal, then we can make a bigger goal. So that's 55,000 stitches to get into these. Or, um, for this year. Along with those at 10,000 each. And there's 10 of those, so that's 100. That is 155,000 stitches for the year. As I said, as you can see, I am well on the way to the 5,000 for Great Spirit. I may slow down once I get out of that, um, get out of that border. Uh, no, actually, I'm going to put these back over here. So they don't get wiped off. All right, we are at 37 minutes. Next, I will draw for this fortnight's rotation. we have protector that's two full coverages mini shaman portraits so horse portrait is a full coverage but it's a small small full coverage so I don't really have what well, I do now I've got a goal of 5,000 on that one The Modern Folk Embroidery Sale. Two more. Tribal Wolf. small ones in there, not all full coverages, which is good. Um, last one is a wild. Alright, so as you can see, I write down 
the ones that I've pulled. And then what I do is, let me just go back to this one. So that was last rotations. As I work on them, I just cross them out. So I know that I've worked on them. And I know which ones I want, but that I have pulled for this um, rotation. Alright. Now I will show you the um, cover photos for these. And show you which the ones that we will be working on. First one is this one. Uh, just I just named it Wild. It is off Etsy, uh, two by two stitcher, and it came in a trio. I've already done the other two. I'm just got to get this one finished so then I can um, fully finish them. Tribal Wolf is also an Etsy store. Also, two by two stitch up. Uh, it hasn't got an actual name, uh, but I just call it Trouble Wolf. So, and the Modern Folk Embroidery Sal, that is the 2024 Sal. Where are you? This. So, that is what it will look like. I am not doing those colours. Uh, I will put in one a uh, picture of the colours that I am doing, but that is what it's going to look like when it is finished. And horse portrait. Is this one? Which, as I said, is a small, smaller full coverage. Um, So they're the seven that I will be working on over this fortnight. Um, work. I've got, we've got a wedding this Saturday, so I might not get to stitch on the Saturday because I'll be working a double. But that's all right. We do what we have to do. Uh, so. Yeah, I will be uh, more than likely not stitching on the Saturday, so I will have to work out what days I'm going to stitch on my full coverages so I can get two full days into them, as I like to, um, to try and get to that goal of 10,000 stitches each. Put all these back in here so I don't lose anything. Alright, so that is basically everything. I don't have any um, stitchy haul, but I do have. So I've got this is the tour shirt, or one of the tour shirts. And that is all the. Yep, that's all the um, concerts that she's doing in Australia and New Zealand. So um, so that's 
yeah, that's the tour shirt. There was a white one. I didn't want white because white uh, fabric tends to go gross and discoloured. And then I got the tote bag, which also has. Uh, all the two, all the dates. This one actually has the dates on it, and with that, so that was our collector's ticket that we got. And then I got, sorry, crinkle. It's still in a bag. So I got the teddy bear, the pink teddy bear. Key ring. I can't see it for a while. Um, yep, a key ring, and then I got um, a cap and a hoodie for Nash because he was whinging that he wasn't coming with us, and I was like, "Sorry, dude, we bought these tickets 12 months ago, and I didn't think you'd want to come to a pink concert." So, well. <laughs> What one is that off? Just found. A needle and the back of a magnet. Needle minder. Lucky I found that. Now I'm going to have to go through my um. through my projects and figure out which one that's from. Oops, oh yeah, good on ya. Drop it on the floor. So yeah, he was wondering that he, well, he didn't get to come with us and I was like, dude, we bought those tickets 12 months ago and I didn't think you'd want to come to a pink concert. But he loves all music, so um, he would have loved it. But no, no, that was um, mine and the daughter's little adventure. So yeah, um, it was absolutely amazing. I've got lots of pictures and lots of videos that I still have to go through and um, download onto my tablet and stuff like that. So I might um, do a little like collage video of just some of the pictures and stuff that we took. I did um, take a video of the accommodation which I might pop on the end of this one uh, it was a fast answer <laughs> so um, yeah I might pop those ones on but I will do a little collage video of photos and videos from the actual pink concert and then I will if I can get around to doing a stitch with me one day I will um, tell a few stories and stuff of the concert or of the couple of days that we were there so yeah I think that is everything I don't have anything else to show that is stitchy related so guys thank you very much for being here uh, and my videos uh, seem to be getting longer and longer but that's okay um, so yeah, thank you very much for being here. It is very, very much appreciated. Um, I do have a couple of new uh, floss tubers that I've been watching. CCL Stitcher, she's hilarious. Absolutely love her. I was about 30 seconds into her first video and I was just like, yeah, subscribe. I just even if she doesn't have any projects that I like, I just like her um, her persona and her present uh, presence on the um, video. She's she's so funny. Um, so CCL Stitcher and another one that I've been watching or oh, I've seen last or watched last night, and she only has one video out at the moment. And that is, uh, I think she's called a 60-minute stitcher. 
So I watched her last night as well. Um, she's got some nice projects done very well for her first for her first uh, costume. I wasn't nervous or anything, unlike some of us who are like jittering messes or when we do our <laughs> first video. Me. Um, but yeah, so they're just two that I've been watching and then of course all the other suspects which is uh, Dizzy Stitcher, an Aussie in a Kiwi world, Alara the Stitcher, Jen the Caffeinated Crafter, Kim, what is the name of your channel? 30... is it 303? 308 Stitcher. Mm, I can't remember, but Kim, um, yeah, so there's just a couple of new um, floss tubers that I have come across. I think I've watched a couple of others that Judy recommended. So if you've watched Judy's, I think it was her last video, her last floss tube, not her stash dive, her actual last floss tube, she uh, recommended quite a few new floss tubers and I did go and watch all of them and probably subscribed to all of them, but I just can't remember their names. So I am going to have to make a when I watch a new floss tuber that I like, I'm going to have to write it down so that I can tell you guys. Of course, I'm a doughy and it goes in and then it goes out and I can't remember. I can remember someone's coffee order. Easy as at work. Easy. Someone comes in and I go, oh yeah, you've got a flat one with two sugars, blah, blah, blah. But I can't remember what I'd done five minutes ago, so. It is what it is. Alright guys, I am not going to ramble on anymore. We are now at 52 minutes. So thank you very much for being here and uh, watching me, subscribing, liking my videos. It is very, very much appreciated. And uh, wherever you are in the world, please take care and stay safe. And until next time, bye. So oh, here we are in our accommodation. This is as we come in the door. So there is the living area and dining table. And there's a little chair over in the corner there that I've already eyed up to relax on to um, do some stitching. So, and we've got like a desk and that over there. There's our kitchen. And then in this way, we have a room with a twin beds in it. And if we come to these doors and slide them open, Oop, don't break the doors. We have a little balcony here that just looks out onto the other, um, other um, apartments and stuff and then we go through this door oops and we go into the laundry where it has a spare toilet and shower and the window the view it is raining at the moment it um, was storming earlier when we left. There's Shanae over there. <laughs> I need some lights on in here. Oh, lights, we have lights. There's the kitchen. And a little, hey, there's some more lights. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> this is the other bedroom with a double bed. Nice big mirror. Hey. Oop. Into the bathroom. And it's just the same view out there. And we have a step down that I could possibly trip over. And we've got another balcony out here, which just looks down on 
the tennis court and whatever that little building is down there it is actually currently pissing down rain so and then we come out here and we have three big sets of windows that go out onto a balcony open this door and there is our view for the next couple of days so hopefully the cloud will um, will clear and we've got a pool down there but yeah there's our view Don't know if you can hear the waves crashing at the moment, but yeah, pretty good. We're on level four, so um, we were hoping that we might have been a bit higher, but that's all right. At least we can still see the um, ocean out the window. And we're not just looking at another apartment building or the ground. So yeah, guys, that is our... Um, accommodation for the next couple of days. Sinead and I said that we could live here <laughs> forever and ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so I'll leave it as that and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye bye.